Hello everybody and welcome back. Early teal season is right around the corner and today I have a special unboxing today. Today we're looking at fold up decoy. So let's go ahead, get this unboxed and see what we have inside. So these are the Mallard fold up decoys but they also offer uh, goose fold up decoys as well as teal. I saw spoonies on there, golden eyes, all sorts of things. And look at this, you can actually go ahead, flock the heads on these and here's the weight down here. Let's go ahead, finish getting the rest of these out of here, and then we'll look at these in a little bit closer detail. Here we have some of the drakes. They even give you the string in the box. These also have weights on the bottom of them, so that keeps them upright in the water. We have a little bag of spare parts here. And here we have some more keel weights. So if you're using these out on the bay and the water, kind of like I'm doing, here are your weights and here's your string and you can go ahead and just tie these right through this bottom weight here. There's this hole punched here. And then you can use however much string you want. We're generally in four feet of water. I usually like to leave about eight feet of string though, uh, just in case we end up a little deeper. It doesn't hurt to have extra string. Um, makes it a little bit more difficult uh, winding them up at the end of the day. But what's also interesting is they kind of have this like stake here on the bottom. So for field hunting, you could actually go out and just jab these right into field as well. And now you have uh, mallard duck silhouettes. I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but you can actually make these 3D as well. There's three steps to this. All you got to do is take the white flap, fold it in, put it into this groove here. And then you take the, the fold that kind of looks like the feathers of the duck, fold that into this little groove there, then you go ahead, fold that up, and there you go. Now you got a 3D fold up decoy, and actually they show a video of five of these in a spread, and you really can't tell which ones are the FUDs or fold up decoys, and which ones are real ducks. FUDs are so lifelike, it is hard to tell them from real birds. Can you find the five fuds? Did you get all five? Another thing, this uh, green thing that's included, this you can actually mount to a wall and hook all these decoys on, or if you're taking these out to the field, you can use this to hook them all on and carry them. Um, they also show a video of these being shot, just pretty much point blank with a round. And these just sit right back upright, doesn't damage them at all. Of course, you know, our normal full body floater decoys, if they're not foam filled, they take a shot, they're gonna sink. So that's another added benefit of these decoys. So again, you, you can use them as silos or you can use them as uh, pretty much 3D fold up decoys. Fuds laugh at stray pellets. Even a full pattern won't harm fuds, allowing you to rapidly dispatch cripples without worrying about your decoys. Fuds will last season after season. Ever backed over your decoys? Treat your fuds as rough as you like. They will still work, we guarantee it. Like I said, you can go ahead, you can flock these heads however you want. You can put them down, make them feeders, so they're actually feeding in the water. And we have, so there's three drake mallards and three hens. So that's what you get in the box. I can't wait to go ahead and use these this season. I'm going to have a few full bodies as well. But if you're lacking on room in a boat, like, like we use a, a 16 foot StarCraft boat to get out there on the water, you don't have a whole lot of room for full bodies. And you know, if you're using geese as well, um, those use up pretty much four times as much room as full body duck decoys. So I'd like to get my hands on some of those geese silhouettes and give a comparison on those and see how they stack up to these mallard decoys. But looking at the quality on these, the attention to detail looks really good. Fuds are compact and easy to transport, whereas old fashioned decoys are bulky and heavy. Fuds are carried hands free. You don't need a huge decoy bag. 
FUDs have their rigging stored inside the body, which means you won't have tangled decoys. FUDs are multi-posture. This means they can be set in a variety of positions. FUDs will save you time. FUDs are mobile in the slightest breeze. Notice the old-fashioned decoys all pointing into the wind, a warning to game birds. I think these are going to be a game changer. Uh, there's going to be so much more room. Uh, you're able to get that many more decoys in a boat now and maybe diversify into a few more geese decoys that you weren't able to fit in your boat before. And you can see right here on the sticker that this is the official decoy of the NRA. So there you go, they are supporting the NRA. Let's go ahead and take a little bit closer look at the hens now. Here's the hens. Still really good attention to detail. Of course, we all still have the weights on the bottom of these, so that's what keeps them upright in the water. I can't wait to see these in real life. Uh, you know you're gonna get a little bit of a breeze and these are just gonna be able to move around in the water and actually look like they're giving motion to your decoy spread and when those birds are circling, just like using silhouettes out in the field, it's going to appear that these decoys are moving as well. On the manual here, you can see a few more of their decoys. So here's the geese ones. Um, they also have some uh, crow decoys, all sorts of stuff on their website. So make sure you go ahead and check them out online. They've also generated a discount code for me. So if you want 10% off your order at Fold Up Decoys, go ahead and use the code Mowbray, M-O-W-B-R-A-Y. That's my last name. And you can just type that into your order at the end. I'll also leave this in the description down below. Um, but yeah, I think these decoys are gonna be great to use this year. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for plenty more hunts coming up this year. Until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below.